is online trading legit? Hey, this is Billy Goldfeder answering some questions from you as part of our What's Your Problem series hosted by Fire Rescue One and Lexapol. So here's today's question. We, like most fire departments, are physically limited for travel right now due to COVID-19. We found that a lot of our members really like the idea of online training as opposed to going to conferences, but our chief is not on board yet. First, how can we know if the online training is legit? And how can we convince the chief of the value of online training, whether there's a pandemic or not? All right, so first of all, I, I guess the whole legitimacy of training is a big question. Um, know who's doing your training. If you're going to a reputable conference such as uh, FDIC, FRI, and one of those, you know, those instructors are vetted. So, so generally, you're going to get a good quality program. Same thing with online training, but that's the difference. Now, if you're going to online training with Fire Rescue One, for example, then you know those instructors have been vetted. The issue is anybody and their brother or sister these days can do online training. So you don't know what you're getting. And, and you, honestly, you don't know if they're going to train the way your department operates. For example, if you have an FDNY instructor, an FDNY instructor teaching you how to stretch a hose line with five firefighters and your engine only has two, you need to question whether that particular class is of value for your fire department, right? Makes sense. So make sure first, whatever you're going to do, whether you're going in person or you're going in line or, or what many of the other opportunities, make sure the training is vetted. Do a little Google search. Who is that instructor? Where do they teach? And what are they going to teach? Is it what your fire department does? Is it the way your fire department operates? Because a lot of times, the way somebody's teaching, the way your fire department operates, may be two different things. Another question is, is that instructor an instructor for their own fire department? That's always a clue. If they're not teaching at their own fire department, you may wonder why they're teaching you. So keep that in mind. Now, as far as online training, look, all training is good training as long as it's vetted. I don't care if it's online, in person, or, or whatever. But in this time when we can't travel, you have no options. So why wouldn't you take advantage of some great online training opportunities to start, keep that cup getting filled until we can start doing in-person training? Now, what's the ultimate answer? A combination of both. Well before COVID, my department had our officers going through regular online training uh, for command and control uh, operations, tactics, things like that. Plus we do hands-on. So that should always be a part. And, and now with it, I mean, I imagine after COVID, there's going to be so many technological opportunities. Why wouldn't you plug it in for a mix of both? So the bottom line is the best training is hands-on training, especially if we're talking tactical training. Uh, not only because you're doing it physically, but you're also asking questions, interacting, trying this, trying that. However, a great option is a combination of both online training and hands-on. But until we can do more travel, get as much training as you can, but just make sure the instructor who's teaching you is qualified, is, is authorized, is acknowledged as an instructor. Take time to check it out so you don't get yourselves jammed up learning something that maybe your department does not want you to learn. Anyway, email FireRescue1 to me the questions. If I can't help you, you may not be able to be helped. But seriously, I will do everything I can to get you an answer to your questions. Thanks so much. Take care.